Yes, Ted. Yes. He killed that hair. <laughs> By the way, you guys, I have to say on a personal note, I am so excited for season three. And the best part is the trailer for season three was just released. And if you want to see it, head to at Maisel TV to check it out. All right. So we want to pick up right where Ted left off because he gave us such amazing tips on how to create really effortless kind of lived in hair. That's kind of his signature. And I think that's what we're all looking for. So I have invited one of my very good friends <laughs> who also also happens to be my makeup artist and hairstylist here at Amazon. This is Lou. Hi, Lou. Hi. We're so Thanks excited to have you here. Okay, so what we want to do is check out some of the hair tools that are available right now on Amazon that we use almost every day yeah. in the makeup room, right? right? And these are tools that you guys can actually use at home. And one of the looks that you saw Ted do was those like loose wave mm -hmm. looks. So we're going to show you how to do that. And then we're also going to show you some things that everybody needs, like a really good hair dryer because I I think, and you tell me if I'm wrong, but don't you feel like a good blowout is the foundation to any great hairstyle? Absolutely. Right? You'll have that, and once you go throughout the day, and if it gets loose a little bit, you'll mm -hmm. still have that nice blowout finish at yeah. the end. Yeah, because in the summer, I feel like temperature and humidity is not controllable, so one thing you can control is giving yourself a really good structure and foundation to the hair. Okay, so let's Correct. start with this. You love this hair dryer. You use it on me almost every day, and yes. I know you use it on yourself. What is it about the Elchim that kind of sold you? Because there are so many hair Here's the thing. There's so many hair dryers on the market. I don't understand what makes them different because at the end of the day, they all just blow dry our hair. So why do you use this one on all of us? So this, you, you're going to be blow drying hair for mm -hmm. a while, especially yeah. you have long hair. Yeah, and you have it takes a lot of me about too. 20 minutes to blow dry my hair. So you don't want a heavy blow dryer. You want no. something lightweight, something really easy to work with. Mm -hmm. And this is just that. It it's lightweight, oh, yeah. easy to work it with. Really it's, light. it's super powerful too. So it'll dry your hair very quickly. Okay. And it has the heat and the cool, of course. Okay. Um, and one good thing is, like, you and I talk a lot <laughs> while we're doing each other, while I'm you doing your hair. You talk the entire time we're doing our hair. By the way, I don't want to have a stylist that I don't talk to the entire 100%. time. hundred percent. That is, like, part of the relationship. Absolutely. So you want something that's not so loud, and we're, like, yelling at each other. This one's not as loud Turn as on. the others. And oh, yeah, that's not that bad. We're not, you know, we're talking in our normal yeah. tone. It's great. Just okay. something... Yeah. Now, I have to talk about, so okay, I have a couple questions because I hate blow drying my hair. Like I plan my entire week around the day I have to wash my hair because yeah. I want to be home. I don't want to like have to see people mm -hmm. because I get in really bad mood. So, <laughs> no, I do. I really don't like blow drying my hair. <laughs> so explain to me why you need multiple levels of heat when you're drying your hair. And should I be using different levels of heat on different parts of my hair? Like the hottest heat is probably not the best thing for your hair. Especially for your roots. You Especially don't want to. for your roots. Right. Okay. So you could. You could use a high heat, mm -hmm. like a high temperature heat, right on the end, maybe on, like in the center, okay. um, down towards the ends. You don't want to put too much right. heat and focus the heat on for a very long time. Right. So you also need like good brushes too. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's so this right. you could okay. use if you want that little, that little rounded um, <clears throat> brush that could shape your, ooh, Got sorry, it. shape the hair. Yeah. And I'll show you just a little bit. Let's see it. So this, if you want that little bounce at the end, that little curl at the end. You just use the brush to give it a little right. bit of a bend. Right, okay. exactly. Now, what if you want a super straight look? Would you then swap into a paddle brush? A paddle brush is, if you want just something quick, yeah. straight, you could use the paddle. It covers more yeah. hair. Okay, that's actually, I think, a really good hair trick is yeah. that if you want to do like a quick, fast blow dry, like quick and dirty, you've got five minutes, you've got kids, you don't have time. Right. I literally go like this. Like I turn this on. Well, A, I turn my nozzle this way. Can I turn it? Yeah. Absolutely. I like turning it vertical so that it's going in like the direction of my hair. And then I take like a giant chunk like this. And then I go on high, which she just told me not yeah. to do. Well, you don't have a lot of time. And then I just do like one big section. Instead of doing like little baby sections, I do one big section like this. And then I just kind of hold it there. Yeah. Just like that. And you could flip the brush the other way if you want the flyaways to, and the frizz to just Oh, I never thought about disappear. that. Disappear. Okay. So you would do it this way. I love that. Yeah. But I will say what I noticed immediately when I picked this up is you're right. It is super light. It's if lightweight. you have a lot of hair or thick hair or you have hair that 
takes a little bit of more time to straighten, this is a great tool to have because then you don't get that arm fatigue, which Absolutely. we all get when we are blow drying our hair. And I think you definitely want a pro dryer when you're shopping for a hair dryer. Like I said, it's the foundation to any good hairstyle is a good blowout. It's a good blowout. And most of us think dryer. that you have to go out and spend a ton of money on a professional blowout, and you can do that, but you can also get this at home with the L Chim as well. So great product to start with. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here. Yes. Next, we're gonna move on to a hair straightener. Cause let's say we've done like a rough blow dry. So we have our hair fairly straight, but mm -hmm. we want something really sleek, really modern and like very, very cool. What is your pick for the best straightening iron to do that with? So I've chosen the GHD Classic Styler. Okay. This and GHD stands for Good Hair Day? I think it stands for yeah. Good Hair I, yeah. No, I think it stands for Good Hair Day. Yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. This one is actually really easy to use. It's also lightweight. Mm -hmm. It's compact. Okay. Um, what I love about this product is that it heats up so quickly. Yeah, like me in too. less than 30 seconds, it's already up to 365, which is the max temp. Okay. Um, it doesn't burn your hair, it doesn't cause any heat damage. Um, you could use it as a flat iron to yeah. straighten your hair, but I like to use it to curl my hair too. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. So Lou, you have this really cool trick, which I yeah. love. I think of a straightener like this one. So you see this and you guys are like, okay, cool, I have a straightener. Right. But did you know that you can actually curl your hair with a straightening iron? I did not know that. So I want you guys, I want you to show them how you sure. do it. Because it is all about the technique and it's about having the right iron. And I want to know why this is the right iron. Well, number one, I, again, it's all it's lightweight. Okay. So it doesn't, you know, you don't get tired. Mm -hmm. um, so my first thing is to take just a small section okay. in the front. Got it. Hold the flat iron vertically. Okay. And then clamp it down right by the roots, not so much. And then turn it in. Okay. And keep turning it in while bringing it through the hair. Through the hair <gasps> and down. So it. Okay, wait. That <laughs> is literally magic. It's what? the best. It's the best. It's it's uh, really okay, can easy. Can you do more sections? Because sure. If absolutely. You, I, I am like literally fascinated that that curl, which was kind of a close to perfect curl just came out of that straightener. Now you could straighten the ends if you want something more of a modern look or mm -hmm. just keep it curled. Just keep it curled. So clamp it. Okay, so you clamp and then you turn and then towards turn the head. it towards the head okay. and keep turning it while bringing it down. There you that go. That is so cool. This is one of my quickest hairstyles. Okay. Um, if you don't have a lot of time to get ready or to get someone ready, mm -hmm. I, I can... It just puts it in fast. Yeah. And what I think is really nice about this is we heard Ted talk in the video about kind of like effortless and making things look really easy. Mm -hmm. This is exactly what that is. Like if you notice like the wave pattern isn't perfect, right? It's almost imperfect, which is what makes it look so relaxed Natural. and cool. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I do another one. Do yeah, like sure. another section. Sure, sure, sure. And like, Absolutely. You, yeah, it looks a little a little strange, Lou. I'm not gonna lie, I love you, but we need another piece done. All right, I'm getting there. <laughs> now, just so you know, you guys, this has no temperature display. So what this iron does is it actually stays at the optimal temperature. Like Lou said, that's about 365 degrees. And that's really important because that avoids any type of damage to your hair. A lot of these irons go super, super hot, but in the hands of someone who is not a professional, right. I definitely don't recommend it. I've done that and I have burned off chunks of my hair. Yeah. So I don't want that to happen Especially to you. Especially if you have color treated hair. Yeah. You don't, you want it, you want to keep it up to 350, 365, the, yeah. and you'll be good. And it also has an automatic sleep mode as well, which is great if you always forget to turn it off like I do. And don't forget, it heats up really, really quickly. Um, so if you're in a hurry in the morning, you don't have to wait five minutes for your iron to finally heat up to the temperature that you can actually use it. Um, I think it's simple, it's easy, and I love the versatility that a straightening iron gives you because not only can you create these beautiful waves in your hair, but you can also get this like beautiful sleek straight hair that Lou did earlier with the flat iron as well. With so, one With tool. one tool, right, exactly. You don't have to carry your curling iron yeah. with you or your flat iron. Just, just this, this one is, tool, both. Yeah. And, and it's super it's super light. Totally, and especially if you travel a lot, I know I'm always competing for real estate in my bag. I'm like, do I bring my curling iron or do I bring my flat iron? Knowing how to use this tool the right way, which is how you're showing this right now, right. you only need to bring one tool on Absolutely. a trip. Absolutely, that's it. it looks I mean, really you good. could you can also use a glove if mm -hmm. you're not so trained. You're still kind of practicing. Okay. If you want, you could practice with it off mm -hmm. instead of doing it. Okay. On, um, you could use a glove. You could practice with it off just to get that wave going. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna let you continue to curl 
with the flat iron. If you're just joining us now, you guys, you're watching Lou use a flat iron to curl her hair, which I know sounds completely counterintuitive, but that is the beauty of this GHD tool. It allows you to do so much more than what you think it does out of the box. I've seen a lot of videos of people using it and I never quite understood the trick. So what it is, is you basically bring the hair iron right off the root of your hair, so maybe like a couple of inches down. Right. You turn the iron towards your hair, not away from it, towards, and then Lou's gonna show you, you turn, you twist, and you basically pull you the hair pull through downwards. as you're twisting all the way right. down. And what it's giving you is these beautiful, even waves throughout. Look at how good that looks. I love it. Okay, keep going, because I want to see more. You want to see the I whole want thing to, I basically want to see your whole <laughs> head. But no, but this is also, I want to show the back of your hair too. Because when you're looking for a great flat iron, you want one that has consistent heat. You want one that has really nice plates. You want one that has ceramic plates yeah. so that you're able to protect the hair. Um, so you can see we straighten loose hair earlier with the same exact iron and you see everything is super smooth it's super even it still gives her hair body because i think a lot of times flat irons when they're too hot take all the body out of your yep. hair her still her hair still has body it has movement it has texture but it is sleek and straight despite the fact that it is like 99 percent humidity today in new york city so Absolutely. you're going to finish this curl and then we're actually going to talk about a curling iron because there is a tool out there that really takes all of the guessing work out of curling your hair so many people have been talking about this so so I thought that you and I would give it a little spin. Sure. Yeah? Let's do it. All I'm right, put so this down. Put that down because now we're going to introduce y'all to the Chi Air Spin and Curl. And that is this baby right here. I don't know if you guys have seen something like this before. I know personally, I tried a tool. It was a different tool, but the idea was a spinning curling iron. It was a completely different model than this one from a different brand. And I didn't have the greatest experience because it basically took my hair into a chamber uh -huh. and then spun it around. And I didn't like the fact that I couldn't get my hair out on my own. This tool oh, wow. is actually really different and I got Very. to play with it earlier. So I'm being gonna be, I'm gonna be open-minded and I'm gonna let you show me how to curl your hair with this because for somebody that doesn't know how to curl their hair, this might be the best product that's been developed in a long time. Yes, because actually it's very easy. Yeah. Um, it actually tells you how to navigate through it. Okay. There's a little, uh, right here, there's a sign that says yep. this side towards head. So you guys can actually right. see that. It says this side towards head. So whichever side of your head you're curling on, the word should always face your face. Um, and how does it work? So turning it on, it's up to 380. You okay. could lessen the temperature if you'd like, okay. but we'll keep it to 380. It depends on the, th the thickness of your hair, if you right. want more heat and all that good stuff. Okay. So again, this side towards head. Okay. So just hold it like a microphone, just like this. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> um, take a small section. Okay. Now, if you don't, if you want more of a loose wave, you Let's can take... Let's do like take, a looser wave, because I okay. feel like most people like a looser, a looser wave, kind of more natural wave. So you can take a bigger section okay. then, versus a small section that'll give you more of a precise curl. Okay. So what you do is you kind of just lay it down. There's a little gap right on the top. Yep. Lay it down flat. You lay there. it down flat right in the center. Okay, this is like amazing. Now watch closely. So she's laid it down into the center chamber. Right. And she's going to hit the directional arrows, which are right on the front of the curling iron. You can go away from your face or towards, or towards. your face. So we're going to do away. Go for it. Okay. 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 Now, that has taken Lou's hair inside, spun it around mm -hmm. the heated barrel, which, by the way, is in here. It's completely protected, so you can touch this, and it's not hot. Mm -hmm. And you can keep it in there for up to 15 seconds. It will beep it will to beep. let you know Four when beeps. 15 seconds is up. But if you decide that your hair is a little bit thinner or color-treated, you can just pull you it just out pull whenever it out, you're ready. pull it out, bring it down. Look there at you go. that. Voila. So literally perfect curls every single time. And I, I know a lot of people don't understand how to twist an iron or how to roll the hair with an, without, um, without a, a clamp. clamp. So this is like foolproof hair curling. If Absolutely. you've never curled your hair or you struggle to curl your hair, this is the kind of tool that you definitely need. It is completely effortless. You don't have to move your arm at all, which I don't know about you, Lou, but I've definitely gotten into like weird acrobatic positions to like get the back of my hair, get like under my hair. This, you just continue to carry just, the iron around your face vertically, right. which is what makes it so easy to use. Right. And you have to, you should also section your hair so totally. it doesn't Can get lost in between. Sure. Okay. So then look, I'm just going to push this button now. Hair's inside. 
and then you hold it for up to 15 seconds. But I just wanted to see you guys, even if the 15 seconds hasn't beeped yet, you can just pull the hair out. And that's what makes this iron so different than the one I was a little terrified of, is that you control when the hair comes out of the chamber. Right. It is a completely open chamber design, so there's nothing keeping the hair in. So you can take it on, take it in, take it out as often so as you So the less want. heat will create more of a looser, more relaxed yeah. wave. I love this that. This had more heat on it, so yeah. it's more, it's a tighter It's like a tighter curl. wave. Mm -hmm. I love that. And here's the other thing. If you're new to curling, the one thing I learned is you will burn your fingers all the time in the beginning. This helps you keep from ever burning your fingers because right. you actually can't touch the heat element because it is fully in Covered. side. Mm -hmm. So that has been so much fun. This is so cool. This is definitely like a pro tools arsenal. If you're looking for the perfect hair dryer, curling iron, or straightening iron, I think I've shown you plenty to choose from. This is from. all you need. So Lou's going to finish curling her hair with this new product okay. from Chi. But I also want to share something with you guys. I am loving the blinged out nail trend that's happening right now. You have seen it every everywhere every influencer is doing it some of our favorite celebrities are doing it so we actually sent one of our amazon staffers to visit cardi b's nail tech her name is jenny Bowie. she's also kind of known as the queen of bling so check this out